Difference between essays and short stories. Essays and short stories often get confused for one another. However, they're different. Essays lead with logic. Short stories lead with narrative. Okay, with the difference out of the way, here's an idea. Combine the two. Combining essays and short stories into one is an intermediate to advanced move. However, if you're capable of using logic and narrative, then the essay will have a profound impact on the reader. An example is when the essayist is trying to explain why a cat is a better pet than a dog for a busy entrepreneur. The essay can have a series of logical points breaking down how cat food is cheaper than dog food, how cats come potty trained, where dogs have to be taught where to poop, cats don't have to be taken for walks while dogs do, how the annual shots of a cat are cheaper than the shots for a dog, a lot of facts, data, and graphics. Great. You're making your point like a star. But to make your point like a superstar, how cool would it be if you added a personal anecdote of when you had a dog and a cat? Then you detail your first hand experience with both animals. Adding a story into an essay requires judgment. If your goal is to be purely objective, then the story may do more harm than good. But if you're writing on a personal blog, then the story will allow the reader to further understand your point. This form of writing is known as edutainment, when the world of education and entertainment shake hands. This is a very new look into essay writing that should have the essayist tingling with enthusiasm. Are you saying I don't have to make my points in a dry and rigid way? Correct! Don't get so caught up in the process of writing that you forget who you're writing to. You're writing to a human. The average human is bored a lot throughout the day. They live their life on repeat mode without even knowing. If your essay can educate them, and dare I say, make them laugh, then you begin separating yourself from the herd.